just going to record and I'll upload. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that your handwriting? Mike, you're good to go? No, it's not. I was going to say, dang, I am super impressed that that's <laughs> no, your handwriting. That is not my handwriting. That looks like, is that Stacy Mercer? No, that's Tammy. Oh, yeah. Like <laughs> she wouldn't let me leave unless they were all labeled. Well, I can see that. That's, that's good. Cool. That's a good thing. So, all right. Thank, Thank you. you. Tell the family hello. All right. All right. Next up. Delegations? We had six outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, acknowledgement of personnel actions. We don't have to approve that, do we? <laughs> um, can I get a motion for the approval of the consent agenda? Can I have a question first? We'll do my motion first. And then <laughs> okay, I'll do your motion. Okay, I'll second that. Okay. All right, Mr. Cotton. I have a question claiming the payroll there, Ms. Finance. Or uh -huh. Overall, I think our total number of expenses there that you did on those was well over five hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Is that up considerably over the last few months related to uh, computer expenses and those yeah. kind of things? Yeah. Yeah. So we've to, had yeah we've had some mm -hmm. we've had some cares. Um, expenditures so our virtual academy those teachers are coded right. to cares um, and then cleaning um, yes. extra cleaning supplies that's coded to cares okay. um, our additional our subs our permanent subs and our additional nurses are all coded to cares so um, up substantially no but it has increased but that money um, for the most part is not general fund expenditures that's coming out of um, the cares money that we do have money that's offsetting that correct yeah it's a grant it's a it's a federal it's a fund too yeah well, yep just want to clarify yeah okay i'm done thank okay. you we're also rebecca if you can pull out the um field trips. The, the field trips on there yes um it's field trips that. Uh, we're going to hold on the use of fundraising, building use, and field trips that have to do with the baseball. They are going to come back in November and uh, present a different plan. We're not really for sure what uh, YBL is capable of doing this year just with COVID. Um, I met with them last week and gave them the list of things that would be required. They're actually going to look at um, teaming up with the other two basketball programs as well on that and then we'll look at where our community is with the COVID um, stance and see what is possible because right now with the numbers that we have in our community and what the requirements are to put in place it is going to take a lot of manpower on their behalf and they will definitely need a team effort to accomplish that so they agreed they will come in at our next monthly board meeting and present their plan to you so that you can understand what's being put in place in order to have this or not have it. Okay. I'll go back before I do the final minutes and mm -hmm. add all that in tomorrow. All right. All, right. all those in favor? Uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Approve, revise BG1 for McHale roof, roof replacement. Increasing the project contingency by five thousand. Do I get a motion? Motion. Second. Cotton. Second. Went first. All right. I'm sure you're gonna explain some things or tell us something. Yeah, we'll give an update after we approve the second one, maybe. Oh, we'll do good. Oh, oh. Approved that there's a net, there's a change order. This is the BG, and then there's a change order. Okay. All right. All those in favor? Yeah, what are we, what are we, oh, okay. yeah. Ray, do you want to, let me go back. And Tell us what that is. I'm going to go ahead and, was that, that, was that, that, was that on yeah, that was on McHale. That was on, was that on, that was on the drains, the new drains? On the roof. Spinning, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. There we go. Let's put some, uh, downspouts and gutters on. Well, we already done that, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. We did, and they allow they allow 
well for us to make those changes in the middle of those processes because it would be cumbersome to do it after, but we still have to go back and approve it. We still have to go back and submit this BG to the state. So that's for, that's for the gutters? Is that what you're saying? This one is at McHale. That extra 5000 Yeah. Yeah. And then there's the change order. Let me go back to that. So those are, they're separate, but they're together. Okay. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah. What did we change? They identified some, what was it, Ray? Can uh, you? The sheetrock and the plywood, they, they found a wall that had, had sheetrock on it. And uh, that, there was a leak, a bad leak, and they took the sheetrock out, or the plywood, and the metal over the and then had to add some. Uh, then, uh, added a Are we done? Mm -hmm. We're still done. Yeah. Yeah. At McHale's? McHale's done. McHale is done. Correct. And they agreed to pay all the, um, replace everything that got ruined? Correct. Yes. Okay. Right. Did we make a motion to approve the change order? That's next. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's okay. All right, so all those in favor for the approval of the revised BG-1 from McHale? Aye. 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 Okay. So next up, approve change order number three for McHale roof replacement in the amount of $4,092.53 to replace drywall with half-inch plywood yes. on parapet walls. Mm -hmm. Parapet, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's parapet wall? Um, I'll make that motion. <laughs> okay. Hold second to that. Oh, okay. All right. Questions on this, anyone? Yeah, no, I'm confused. Um, yeah. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Okay. The, uh, what I heard Ray talking earlier, he's just barely hearing. They took down the sheetrock and added the plywood and the metal over the plywood. And put metal over it. Yeah. Alright, that's what I did. I, I was making sure it was the same same thing what you were talking about earlier. Alright, all those in favor? Aye. 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 What's your status on work? Any day. Okay. Okay. Check your mail. Ronnie Bill's that song. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Two to three days is what they told me last week. So. <coughs> Are they still on the hook for the penalty? Okay. Next up, move into non consent agenda. Consider the recommendation of Superintendent Moracy to approve SIP. I get to approve myself. Okay, that's what I was wondering. <laughs> to approve Superintendent Moracy and Greenwich County High School. Vice Principal, mm -hmm. should I say Vice Principal? Yes. Miranda Pack as ARC 504 Chairpersons for the 2020-2021 <coughs> school year as submitted. Did I get a motion? Motion. Just second. This is just an addendum to add on to um, what the list of principals that we already had done previous in the year. And then I actually asked if I could have a renewal um, and be available to do ARC chairs if needed, um, simply because I think it's good practice for the superintendent to be up to date on all the laws. Um, we have some big focus areas in special education, so I wanted to be a part of it. So now if we were to have a virtual student or a principal out sick, I can come in and do the ARC chair myself if yeah. need be. So yeah. that's just a little me trying to be helpful somewhat in, in the know. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's what you call. Aye. Five zero. Um, next up, do we need to just table that? Well, we'll make the yes. motion. Please consider the recommendation of Superintendent Moracy to approve Greenwich County High School baseball overnight to Lexington, five seven to five eight for tournament play, traveling by parent and pending COVID recommendations and restrictions as submitted. Um, so how do we do that? We do get a motion. 
do a motion or do they just go straight to table? Just table it. Okay, so we table on that one. Mm -hmm. And then also, they sent a recommendation to Superintendent Racy to approve the Green County High School baseball overnight. Florida, April 4th through 9th, 2021, for spring training, traveling by parent, pending COVID restrictions and or recommendations as submitted. Um, I think we're gonna go straight into the table on that one as well. So, next, please consider the recommendation of Superintendent Moracy to approve the memorandum of understanding with above and beyond to provide school-based mental health services to students. Can I get a motion? Mr. Warnick, all second. They have a questions. I first read that. I thought we'd do a business with the above and beyond up there. Bed and bath. We were getting an award, <laughs> yes. Bed, bath, and bed, beyond. Bed, bath, and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Who is above and beyond? Uh, they specialize in autism. Okay, I haven't heard of them. I don't know. Yeah, right. They're brand new. Yes, I asked about it. Once. I actually asked about it, um, and it's for um, counseling for students with autism because that would be a different type of setting, mm -hmm. so it's good that they do specialize. Where they up? Uh, I believe it's West Virginia. Uh, where? West Virginia. Uh, mm -hmm. Where? My hometown. <laughs> My home state. He wants you to sing it or something. All those in favor? Uh, uh, 5-0. Next, please consider the recommendation of Superintendent Moracy to something and approve. I can't read my own here. Uh, the employee assistance program memorandum of agreement and with pathways as submitted. Is this something new we're offering? Yes, um, it is counseling for um, our own people, so yes. staff members. And so, yes, and so this is. Um, just employee assistance program would be counseling for needed therapies for, you know, COVID creates a lot of stress, maybe divorces, there'd be different things going on. So this is for our people and we will do up to two initial visits for uh, that person. Um, that's the best plan that we could get in the area. We, um, I believe Mike can tell you a little bit more. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, basically what, and there is a correction that needs to be made in that document <clears throat> I need to send that back to them if, if that's what we go with it says I think number 11 it says Montgomery County instead of Greenwood County oh, okay. <clears throat> I found that today uh, basically what it is is provides services to our employees uh, basically the the memorandum that we got we would pay and there's a, a pricing scale we would pay uh, the first two visits of whatever and then it would be their responsibility after that. That's That was the most cost effective one that I found. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do we have other parts of that money? Do what? Do we have other parts of that money? For like smoke station and things like that? Or? Do what? Are you talking about like for smoking sensations yeah. and things like that? Yeah, yeah. Different, different things. There's different stuff through our insurance company that okay. offer things. So it's just like insurance? Yes. I should have done that. But <laughs> Remember, we just went tobacco free last year. We were doing all that. So that's the only reason why I can answer it. Because I remember that. <clears throat> Any other questions for Mike? All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Five zero. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. All right. Next up. Please consider the recommendation of Superintendent Moracy to approve the Quick Sand Farms LLC proposal for Greenwood County High School softball field, irrigation, installation, and turf renovation, and Greenwood County High School soccer field, turf renovation as submitted. I'll make that motion. So basically, second. I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, basically what it was for the softball field, and that's, that, that is the only athletic facility that we have without any irrigation at all on it. So it was an irrigation and then a reseed, a kill out and a reseed of both fields with Bermuda grass. So when you say both fields, soccer? Soccer and softball, yes. So, and, and, and it's, it's my baby. <laughs> 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, I don't think any amount on here on has he done the uh, done the soul test or anything yet down there? Soil test for what? For the fields? The soccer field. Yeah. Yeah. He worked on the soccer yeah. field last year. No, we did, we did, we did some, he did some work on it and some, I think some overseed irrigation. and irrigation and uh, like uh, weed kill and things like that. That was in, that was part of our contract with him for all of our athletic fields. Okay, that was already part of it. So this is a new contract then? This is a contract to kill everything out and reseed the soccer field with Bermuda grass and then put irrigation and reseed the uh, softball field. Okay, is this above and beyond what our record is? Yes. yes. I'm assuming he will smooth the soccer field out. Both, both, both fields, the well. softball and the soccer field right now has got fescue on it. It's Kentucky 31, or, you know, that's what the pasture field's got in it. And, you know, if you walk on them, they, if you go out there and you walk on the fields, they're rough. The soccer yeah. field, is a little better than it was last year. We sanded and reseeded and irrigated it, but it's, it's still So right. Bermuda grass will basically be what's on the football field. You'll have, all all yeah. fields and will the, be the same. And the soccer, or the only one that be won't is not straight Bermuda grass is the baseball right. field, and they put a little bit of ryegrass rye grass in there right. to keep it green. Yeah. yeah. It's only different. So, uh, my only problem with the Bermuda grass down there on the soccer field is it's going to be, you know, drainage issues that. Uh, do a straight kill and seed and the the swampy area you're probably talking about that's on the outside of the actual playing field and he will only be doing the playing field with the Bermuda grass. Okay. So yeah. But he, we think it'll take pretty well. Yeah he, he thinks it'll take right off and by mid-August he'll turn the field back over to, to us to, to play with. The only thing about it is it's, this is going to be that um, there'll be no middle school soccer on it. So, because uh -huh. I think he's, he's wanting to start like November, December. Uh, Could you move middle school soccer to another field like down at um, McHale? Down there. Games. Could you do that or could you, is there anything? Well, soccer, middle school soccer's in the spring. Yeah. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you said during home, oh. To get home games, yeah. just so they can have some home games. Yeah. You got that big field up there at work. Sure. Yeah. Just have to mark it off. Yeah. Hey Ray, how often do we have to reseed the football field? We just reseed as needed. Uh, this year we didn't we didn't do a whole lot of seeding over there this year as we did last year and the year before. It just it's just as needed. And he does he does a lot of seeding and don't even uh, he don't even charge us for it. When he re when he seeds, it's mostly the crown. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. I was say was right. Go ahead, Ray. Tell me. It's when he when he reseeds over there, like this year, it's just little dead spots, you know, through the outer edges. Uh, we we didn't really had a whole lot of trouble with football field this year. After after aeration, <laughs> the sand, you know, it's all good. Yeah, we'll 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 we
Next up, thank you gentlemen, very much. Consider the recommendation of Superintendent Moracy to recognize the following booster organizations for the 2020-2021 school year. Greenwood County Band, Greenwood County Boys Football, Greenwood County Cheerleaders, Greenwood County Dance, Boys Basketball, Girls Basketball, Baseball, and Softball. Take a motion. Mr. Warnick, second. I'll, make, I'll second that. How are they, um, are they doing, how did they do road boat training? With the virtually, kids? virtually. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right, anybody have any questions about this? I think your other is probably like soccer, they're in-house, so they don't have to. Correct, and Wortland Elementary disbanded their external booster and they are internal now as well, so. What about Kim Elementary and all those, are those all? Internal. All internal, mm -hmm. good. Good. And they okay. are audited when they do Correct. our regular yes. audit? Correct. The middle schools are both internal? Middle schools don't have a PTO. I don't, I don't think. Do either no. of the middle schools have PTOs? I didn't think so. Anyone who's not on this list, though, are, they're internal. By the time they get to middle school, that's when they're usually in a sport of some sort. Yeah. Like a booster, more so. <coughs> so oh, they collect drama. the money, send it down to us, we make the deposit. Um, they'll make the deposit, but then everything comes to us. Kim does all the reconciliations. And then they audit here. They audit the schools here. Okay. They use the ticket system or something? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they still have to follow red book rules. So internal and external <coughs> boosters have to follow red book rules. There's just a little bit of um, differences in what you're allowed to purchase if you're external versus internal is the only difference. So with internal like they are, they can purchase what they need, what they want? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can always do like instructional stuff, students, spending, stuff like that, yeah. With, their, with the collections from the basketball and the, and mm -hmm. the volleyball mm -hmm. and the concession. Correct, yes. Well, I'd say those concessions are usually a group, aren't they? Like Mikhail used to be, it was the cheerleaders. You Like in the band is here. So like a group will take the concession. Yeah. So how does that work? Gate money. Gate money is different. If a group, so we've already approved, I believe, for the band mm -hmm. to have the concession. That's, that's their money. That's spent on band. Concessions here at the football field. Correct. Okay. They do football and basketball. Yeah. <clears throat> but at the middle school, mm -hmm. that would be basketball, volleyball, mm -hmm. and that would be it. Mm -hmm. And concessions at those games plus ticket sales. Mm -hmm. And, and that is the group you're saying that runs the concessions then. Correct. Most of the time, yes. A group of mothers or a PTO or a right. boosters. And they'll are they'll realize that profit for their organization. Okay. And as far as the buying of uniforms and things that they need, then that is out of the gate receipts. That would that's gonna be out of their club receipts. And then the gate money can be sent to the district at the at district activity fund level, and then that all gets spent. It has so to be it's spent. So it's called it's called an activity fund. Mm -hmm. There's student activity funds and there's district activity funds. Okay. Yes. Student activity funds are student generated money, mm -hmm. and then stuff that is not specifically generated by students can come to the district level and be dispersed that way. So like a fundraiser, that students um, fundraise for that student money that stays in the student account, like the gate receipts, the gate receipts and all can be that. sent to the district level, yeah, the which district. has a little bit more freedom on spending. Okay. Yeah. So do we know at the end of the year whether they have funded their particular program? Um, we do. This past year, um, some schools did not, so we were in um, the red for some, like volleyball, for example. They didn't get a finish, you know, um, sports that didn't get a finish well, their season. Well, this 
this year it's going to yeah. be a little different because yeah. nothing like that. But yeah. yeah, but yeah, we know at any time I can ask Kim, hey, how much does Wortland Middle um, School Girls Volleyball account has? And she can pull it up in yeah. five minutes. And do we still give so much of a, a student for? Correct, $50. $50? Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's done right after the budget's completed in September. It was about twenty. $7,000 this year, I think. Now i got a big question. Okay. <laughs> a few years ago, there was an agreement with the football boosters mm -hmm. for X number of dollars that they were reimbursing the board for for work that we paid for because they had torn up a tractor, torn up a football field or something there. And I'm thinking it was $80,000 or something. I'm thinking we have a note or we have an agreement or something like Not that. Not a lot, but it's recording. We can't make gr agreements with external booster organizations. There, the, I, there was a scoreboard, so there was an agreement with Coke and the, and the scoreboard. That was where they were going to sell the signs or put signs Correct. on the scoreboard. But as far as a tractor, I don't, I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure about that. So okay. how they do with the scoreboard? Do they ever reimburse? Mm -hmm. So that's yearly. Um, we haven't gotten it yet this year, but usually it's like October. We've gotten two payments. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, all those in favor for booster res recognition? Aye. Uh, Aye. Uh, uh. All right, next one. Please consider the recommendation of Superintendent Maracy to approve the surplus of two snow plows and a lift gate. I'll make that motion. Second. Mr. Royster. Any questions? Stuff we don't need. And it's not going to turn about two new snow plows, are we? I don't know anything. Yeah, we'll have three foot of snow since we're still Yeah. We didn't snow for two years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, is that the reason we're getting them? I would think so. Yeah, I would say that they went beyond their years of service for us. Okay. All right. Okay. All those in favor? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Five zero. Good. Uh, anybody have anything else? I've got, somebody asked, I think it was sent to me and you, I've been meaning to ask about this, about the land property, we would be willing, if, if anything ever said anything about selling the land property? Yeah, he did send something to me, but I told him to call Tracy. I haven't had anybody contact me about it. Yeah. I, I, I didn't, I kept forgetting to bring it up, and I didn't know. I would love to sell it to a company that wants to put cell phone towers on. <laughs> I think that would offer us some service, but because um, it's right in the center of the county, it would really help, I think. So, yeah. Um, that one right down the road from where I live, it didn't help me a bit. Doesn't help you at all. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, service isn't too bad out there. I don't feel like it is. I mean, we all, I don't know if it's because we're up on a hill. I don't know. Ours is just bad right mm -hmm. in the Yeah. So, but I've not been contacted by anyone. If you want to tell me later, Okay. So, okay. Can I get a motion for adjournment? Motion. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Royster. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Five zero. Uh, Thank six, you. Six, 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 six